That's on Instagram, by the way. Have you ever been asked the question, if you were a city, what city would you be? Like there's one specific place on planet Earth that is meant just for you. Hi, my name is Jordan Rothenberg, and I was born in Milwaukee, Wisconsin, to this fine, loving family. Yeah. Woo! But after moving away from school, I've spent the last 10 years transplanting, grappling to define what home is as a transplant. In my lifetime, I've lived in Milwaukee, Minneapolis, Barcelona, Madison, and now here in Boulder. Basically, if a city doesn't start with a B or an M, I'm not interested in living there. <laughs> we move away from places as we're pulled towards others. We get complacent, um, and we drink. I was pulled to Colorado for the mountains, and I earned my rite of passage when I wrapped myself around a tree in my first season and tore every ligament in my left knee. But I got back on the mountain. I moved to Madison to pursue a job in healthcare IT, really what I set out in this world to do. As a recent journalism grad, I knew nothing about electronic medical records, and I still don't. But moving from place to place, the de definition of who we are and where we're from starts to get blurry. It's less about where we've come from and more about who we'll become in the next place we call home. In Minneapolis, home was sub-zero wind chills, threatening frostbite on the walk to class across the M Mississippi River. I learned that there is such a thing as bad weather, so don't wear bad clothing. In Barcelona, home was getting home from class to a host father who was passed out from smoking too much hash, and while his wife tended to the baby, I offered to make the family dinner that night. <laughs> Somebody had to. In Madison, home was showing up with 75 strangers for the November project at 6.26 a.m. sharp on the Capitol stairs to exchange sweaty hugs and high fives, where you get 110% support just for showing up. In Boulder, home is an abundance of yoga. It's <laughs> farmers markets and trailheads in our backyards. It's showing up and supporting your community at amazing events like these. <laughs> the gratitude I have for all these places I've been privileged to call home doesn't come without sacrifice. Leaving friends, family, and loved ones is never easy. It's important to stay connected. And the feeling of rejection and starting over again and again, when your fourth attempt to find housing falls through, and when you have to take a job you don't love because the local chai company you're interviewing with thinks your smoothie startup is a conflict of interest. <laughs> As I struggle to define what it means to be home, I know that I'm not a couch surfing, hitchhiking, digital nomad. I'm here to make real connection and build community with you all. Being a transplant means getting way out of your comfort zone, taking risks, talking to strangers at coffee shops, volunteering just to meet new people, and contributing to your new home. <laughs> the struggles from yesterday turn into the opportunities to connect with somebody new tomorrow. Remember when you first transplanted? Who showed you the way and gave, pointed you in the right direction? My challenge for you, dearest Boulderites, whether you've been here a month, a decade, or a lifetime, is to consider the transplant. Consider how hard it is to break into your circles of activity and drive that you guard so closely. My challenge <laughs> is to appreciate what they'll add, the experiences they've cherished, and the value that they'll uh, bring to the table as we shape the future of our home in Boulder. You never know who you're going to cross in life that's going to make a lasting impact. In the spirit of Ignite, lean over tonight and introduce yourself to a familiar face. I think you'll be surprised what you find. In my impossible search to define what home means, I found that home is actually wherever we are. As I come up on my two-year anniversary in Boulder next week, I'm lucky and grateful to call this place home for now.
Thank you. Yeah.